It's not Delicio, it's Delivery. Welcome everybody to Let's Play Breath of Fire, Part 18. And be sure to use a Marble 3 as soon as you go underwater or you will get poached instantly. Just a heads up, not a whole lot is going to happen in this episode because I'm going to go to what is a flea market essentially, or shall I say a sea market. And I am quickly going to put all my items into storage. I'll explain why in a minute. Hold on. Alright, all my items that I can put in storage are now in storage. Now the way the flea market works is if you have any items at all, sometimes people will come and try to buy them. But if you have no items, they'll only try to sell stuff. And right now, I just want stuff. So uh, what you do is you see this empty spot here? It doesn't really tell you anywhere in the game as far as I know, but if you just go around here and... Hit accept. You open up your shop, and someone will come running. You can refuse stuff twice, and on the third time, sometimes you can get the absolute lowest price. That's assuming you even want it. What can I do for you? I'll sell- I don't want your rod two. If you had a rod five, I'd be interested. Not a rod two, though. But there's a- there's a handful items that I want to get. That actually isn't too bad. You can run away from battles instantly, but I'm not going to bother right now. There's a there's one item here you can get, a Thunder Rapier, which is like the fire one, but I believe it does 10 less damage. But it's good to have both. Protein B. No, I don't want a Protein B. There's also some Angel Armor I want to get for Nina. Steel Bow. That might be good for Bow. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'm gonna go put it in storage right now, hold on. Done and done. You can also get Cure 2s, and they're pretty good, they heal everyone's health fully. No AP though. Protein B, no thank you. Yes, I, I enjoy this little segment of the game way more than I should. Probably because I, aside from Dragon Warrior 4, I haven't really seen anything like it. Also worth noting is there are three separate stages of this flea market minigame. Right now we're on stage one. The second stage starts after we get to, uh, ooh, a stone. Nah, I don't really want it though, 40 damage. If I have my way. Seven? No, I still don't want it. Yeah, I can't really get too into detail about when the stages start, without spoiling things that happen, but suffice it to say that when we get to a certain point in the game, we get to a new stage, and that, the second stage, is where we get that weapon for Karn that I want. And I'm gonna be spending a lot of time here to get it. But you have to be careful because if you, if you progress too far in the game, you lose the opportunity to get it for good. Too bad, so sad. Yeah, I'm not kidding, this is gonna be pretty much the entire video, so... No... I had a thing for flea markets back in the day, I used to... go every weekend to the flea markets and... sell a bunch of old crap that I had. It was a good way to make a little extra money on the side if I didn't have an actual job that day. It's not being very cooperative, I'd really like to get some, uh, some good stuff on screen. If I don't get some good stuff before long, I'll just cut to me getting the good stuff. Just so you can see it. I think that steel bow is still good. You can find one in Agua. In all my times playing this game, I had never found it. It's pretty well hidden. Unless you knew where it was, you're not likely to find it. There's like a little cubby in the wall that you can walk into, and if you check, it's there. It's over my head. At least things I would think to check, not a random wall in a random dungeon. This game has a couple of those. You just check this random spot and you get an item. Which I can appreciate. Like, it's not exactly a secret if everybody knows about it, now is it? 
You know, sometimes it takes a while to get the items you want. Like a long while. And realistically, it's probably not worth it to bother, but... I feel like... It's worth showing. It's a time sink for me, you'll just... Get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Considering I'm about ready to cut and show you. Presuming I ever get them. If I'm here and it's almost time to go to work, I'll probably just mosey. Ooh, metal armor. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really worth it. If you'll sell it to me cheaper, I'll buy one. It's definitely no good for the hero. That life armor he has. No. no. Okay, I'm just gonna cut to me getting at least one of the good items. So this video isn't a total waste. Unless it's... This guy. No, it's not. So I'll, uh... I'll see you again in a few seconds, but it'll probably be longer than that for me, so I'll, uh, So I'll talk to you through some weird hole in the space-time continuum. Hmm, hunt glove. This is a shield for bow. I know we can get one-handed bows. Hey, I'm gonna pick this up. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Here we go, Thunder Rapier, like I wanted. 5400 for it? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Slam this baby into storage. Angel Armor, here we go, I'm actually gonna get it unless it's too expensive, which it is. Ah, oh, Bonehead. No. No. No, oh, fine. At least you know I can get it. I'll get it off screen when I have the money. It's not like it's a huge deal anyway. I'm pretty sure I can get it in the second stage. I didn't even think about that. I'm sure I could have sold some of the crap I have. Still might just do that. Yeah, I'm gonna at least get my stuff out of storage now. I'm gonna at least get the stuff I can sell out of storage. I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. But... Yeah, I'm gonna sell this stuff and vainly try to get it off screen. Man. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that off screen. You know how much it costs. You know you can find it down here if you want to get it yourself. So at least do a little bit of storyline element stuff before I stop the video. What's up? The guild owner is in the back room. Well, maybe I best talk to him then. I hope that losing your license taught you a lesson, Gobi. What brings you here today? Gills? We don't have them. If you want them, go to Gaunt. So we have to go to Gaunt. Get some gills. Still solo missioning with Gobi, eh? So yes, I may as well. Head to Gaunt and... Back to storage. I really should have known that that armor was going to be expensive. Naturally, it would be the last thing I have. So yeah, equip more marble threes. Because... It's still going to get wrecked. I believe Gaunt is to the west. No, you don't want to go west. You want to go south, then slightly to the east. Now I'm on track. Roam on over to Gaunt. See what kind of juicy stuff I can pilfer from their cupboards. And I'm sure I want to go just directly to the top. Hey, buddy. Are you from Prima? 
The dark dragons attacked and took our young man. Take some goods to the Prima Guild owner, okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. The goods are in the treasure chest. Alright, I'm gonna take these here goods. And I'm just gonna meet you back in Prima. You brought the goods, Gobi. Please take the gills with my thanks. Gobi receives the gills. There's a letter. It says that Gant has been attacked. Uh-oh. Didn't look very attacked when I was there. What's that noise? We best find out. The dark dragons have attacked a small boat. Yeah, what else is new? The survivor of the boat attack needs your help. I'll be there right away. What's going on? Well, let's take a look, see, Gobi. I didn't go that way. A ghost has come to take him away to the netherworld. Soon you will join me. We can't lose him, Gobi. He has important information to pass on. I know a warrior who can shoo away that ghost. It will cost 10,000 GP. That's too much. How about 5,000 GP? Yeah, okay. Great! Get moving. That Gobi always looking to make a penny somewhere. I already got the entire party's goods. Yeah, let's reunite with our party and... My marble wear out. No battle music. And I cannot run away from the sky. I am most likely going to die. Alright. Marble 3. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry, that guy from Gaunt might die if we don't hurry. I'm kinda surprised I didn't die trying to run away. I could use some suntan lotion. We will accept your terms. This bright light is unbearable. Sorry I'm late. Are you ready? Oh, I am more than ready. What are you waiting for? I can't wait any longer. Alright, and we have been reunited. May luck be with you. I'm counting on that money. Yeah, like you're ever gonna see that million gold you shystered me out of. You're good enough to take you along, and then you had to go and pull that. For that, I'm taking you out of the party. You can sit back there and think about what you've done. And go. Alright, and we finally have the gills, and can go underwater. The gills are in place. What, so you just kind of put them by your lungs and rips a hole through your chest and you can suddenly breathe? Is that how that works? However, before we fight that guy, I'm going to stop the video here because I want to farm that angel armor. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Wrath of Fire, Part 19. Arrivederci.